So something will help a lot is that when I'm here with Alistair with his armor, once he starts committing himself to slide into the mount, I'm committing myself to going this way. So make sure your right knee is on the floor real early. Yeah? Okay? If he starts going, when I get to here, yeah, use your knee to move his leg. Right? Because when I'm here, I bring my knee through, toes on the floor, I'm using the floor as my base, and I'm using my knee to pass his leg all the way over there. So I don't have to hip out as far now, because my foot's already for my hip out. So when I start to move now, it's really easy, because I've pushed his knee so far across my center line, I don't have to hip out very far. Right? I'll show you the alternative, right? If I'm doing it like less efficiently. So he goes, I move his knee. Now I have to move. See how far his knee is this way? Yeah, so now I have to go like this and hip out like all the way around this knee to try and get onto my side, right? Whereas if you use your knee, plant your foot and now use your knee to push his leg all the way across, you'll hardly have to hip out at all. So I'm here. Start sliding, my knee's low. See, as soon as my knee touches his knee, I start closing my knee, passing it to my left foot. And now, even just like with my knee closing and my toes from my left foot there, right, so you just move somewhere. I've got pretty good control of that leg, even just holding like that. If I held like that, I've got really good control, right? Like monkey foot, right? Okay, so use that little trick. Bring your knee, slide it really far under, toe connection to the floor, and now use the inside of your knee to pass the leg all the way across your center line to your left foot. Then you can start hipping out a little bit and put your foot in the hole. What do you think?